Folks, Nick the nurse here. Today we're going to be talking about some of the nursing diagnoses associated with the nursing problem hypoparathyroidism. Now with hypoparathyroidism, remember one of the big guiding factors that you're going to have to remember is that with hypoparathyroidism, you have decreased calcium levels and increased phosphorus levels. Again, that's decreased calcium levels and increased phosphorus levels. Now remember that when you're formulating your care plan. So um, with hypoparathyroidism, one nursing diagnosis that you might want to keep at the forefront of your mind is imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements. In this case, it might be decreased calcium that needs to be replenished into the body. Risk for injury um, due to um, problems with muscles and bones associated with electrolyte imbalances, risk for falls, um, definitely risk for fractures as well, as well as risk for ineffective airway clearance if you have laryngospasms as a result of hypocalcemia. A lot of good info there. Make sure that you understand these uh, nursing diagnoses so that you can apply them on your nursing school exams or even on the NCLEX or on your care plans in nursing school. So again, my name is Nick the Nurse. I uh, wanna thank you for watching my video today. If you'd like to check out any of my other completely free videos, they're at www.nickthenurse.com. Again, that's www.nickthenurse.com. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.